Hello everybody, it's your boy Twin Plays here, and today in this video we are going to be doing an introduction to um, scripting. Um, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. It means so much to me. About 80% of you guys kind of aren't subscribed, which kind of sucks, but we are almost at 20,000, which is amazing, and I'm so happy. Um, and also, if you want, if you are new to my channel, join the Discord in the description because we do help out people who need help with literally anything like building, scripting, graphics, anything in there. And there's a lot of job opportunities in there as well. So, if you new are new to my channel, welcome. Um, in this video, we are kind of just going to be talking about some basic scripting things. And this is going to be the introduction to the series. And then we will go on to more things like variables, events functions and everything like that now i personally am not an amazing scripter but i can help you out learn how i do all my things and how i teach everyone else to do things like um my uh, tutorials so basically to get started i want you guys to open up one website it's called roblox i mean developer.roblox.com the reason we're gonna be looking on this website is because it is going to be helping you um, learn more about just Roblox in general and scripting and building and everything like that. So let's open it up. All right. So in this, we kind of are just going to talk about this. Now, a lot of people don't really know the great potential of using this website because it will really help you out. Um, this is how you are going to be able to look at um, things for scripting and basic coding and everything like that. So this will help you out a ton. Now, this is a great way to learn if you really want to learn, like, um, and you want to just get started because there are so many things you can do. Like, I'm not even kidding you. This is a great way to learn. Um, and it will really help you talk about um, functions and scripts. And I think we'll actually, actually do a tutorial. I mean, we will actually run through this together on the next tutorial. So talking about this, we're going to get straight into the main scripting part. So what I want you guys to search up is Roblox client. Um, server model so this is basically helping you know and understand what a server script is and what a local script is and how you can difference between client and server so basically between the two on this website we have an idea okay so we have let's say an ipad right here an iphone a, a pc and then a cloud okay and each one's pointing up to the cloud that is the server okay and these are the clients so I'm kind of going to read this for you. All clients, as in the players, as in yourself, when you join the game, okay, any player, like a username, anything like that, a player, is known as a client. All players in the game are basically the client. When you join the game, you are a client. But everyone, as in right here, sorry, I kind of read this a little wrong, all clients and players in a game that are connected to that cloud, I guess you could say, are known as a server. So everyone in the game is basically a server together. The game is the server. The players are the clients, basically. Clients, not client. Um, so talking about this, we can kind of understand a few things, okay? Client code. This will detect like player input and display information to the specific player. So basically a local script is used to help display to that player and that's when you get like events and you basically say okay on server script on this event i want to send it to the client side isn't i saying i want to send it to that specific player and pop up this gui so saying oh they just logged in i want to send this gui to them and i want to reward them with this certain amount of money that's basically what we're doing but client code is only for a player one player only then as in the client and then the server code as in the server script is for everyone in the game so this helps for saving player data updating scores creating parts and also like doing things in the game so like you want to start um an obby or like do this like cool like tricks and like add like total natural disasters that's a whole server kind of game like everyone has the same um thing going on at the same time um, so that's kind of the difference, and we'll basically talk about that when we talk about um, a server script and a local script. And I'm kind of not going to go in depth with like just scripting in general today. I just want to help you learn about server script and local script because that is something you really need to know. Um, I I guess you could really just say um, I don't know if they have a server script in here. I mean. Yeah, it doesn't really look like that. Um, so let's talk about server script service. I guess that works. So um, we're basically going to be putting scripts in here. This is a um, actually let's click on script now. 
this is the type of Lua code container that runs to the server. And um, by default, they all have print hello world. So I kind of will show you that in a second here, what I mean by that and how we're going to get started to this series because you're really going to need to know about that. Um, they only have one property, which is disabled. Very true. And it is a descendant of workspace or server script service. Um, basically, um, this is going to be helping running scripts to the server as in everyone can see it. That's that's my understanding. Script is for everyone. Local script is for one player. Just get that in your head. <laughs> so local script is the Lua source container that runs Lua code on a connected to a Roblox server. Now, I kind of didn't really get into um, Lua like documentation and everything like that. So I kind of will have to talk to you about that in a sec here. But Lua is a scripting code you could say programming it is a programming language and roblox uses this to make their games and everything like that so it's really nice to look at now as you can tell there's all this jam stuff right here which we will talk about in a sec here um, in a bit in the next video and how to use them but this kind of talks about just lua in general so if you want just go to this developer and start learning these kind of things and then you can see what's happening um but that's kind of the simple stuff. So I'm just going to close out of this and I'm just going to show you what I mean. So in your studio, I want you guys to have this open for the next video, which we will end this video in just a sec here because it's not going to be, it's just a simple tutorial. And I want you guys to get started on the scripting in the next few tutorials. So a um, few things, you're going to go to view right here. Okay. And how I have my set up is like this right now. I have the Explorer properties, output and the game. You're going to want to make sure you have a bunch of stuff open like this. Um, you're going to want to check out output. So go to your view tab, go to over here and make sure output is open. Now, all of these kind of have a lot of like stuff in them. And as you can tell, there's just so much to it. Um, there's script analysis, there's call stacks, there's watch as in saying you can watch a script, script recovery, script performance, um, all that kind of stuff, breakpoints, everything is in here. And there's also drafts, of course, of course. So all you really have to do is just have those open. Now output is where we're going to be debugging and printing everything. So I'm just going to do a simple code and we're going to be inserting a new script. So to create a new script, you are going to insert an object by clicking the plus button on one of the explorers. Now, if you don't have any of these, sometimes people don't, you will just need to go to model and you need to go to service right here and then you'll be able to insert them in here. Now there, I guess there's some more stuff in here. So like voice chat service, never thought of that. Might as well open that, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so basically, let's plus this right here and we're gonna start script even though it was right there and there's all of these. Now we will talk about module scripts in a bit. Those are a little bit harder to understand and honestly, personally myself, I'm not really used to them. I just don't use them often. But inserting a script, we're gonna be doing it into server script service because we're gonna wanna do this to the server. So like it said in the documentation, um, it is always gonna be printing hello world. So that's a nice thing. So let's say you wanna say, um, I'm gonna say subscribe to twin place. Now you need to really pay attention to how the um, syntax works and uh, basically how to um, make sure there's no errors because if I were to get rid of this, you're going to see an error. See how um, it's underlined red? That's how you know there's an error. And also when you look up here on the right, you kind of see it's red. That's how you'll know. So basically, um, that's when you'll know there's an error. But let's say this, okay? So subscribe to Twin Plays. And we are going to do this. Now you're gonna click run. You're not gonna do player because that's just gonna spawn the player in, which you don't need. You just need to hit run. Um, and what it will do is it will print something in output. It's going to say subscribe to Twin Plays. Now you guys can already see I have some errors down here because of this stupid sound um, stuff. I have extra stuff in my server storage, so it's just getting it from that. But basically, what happens in the output is it will stay stuff like, oh, it saved your file. Or, oh, it uh, did the print. Now, you can see by doing the green right here, that's what happened. Now, when you click on it, it will actually take you to that exact spot. So, that's the really nice part of printing and debugging and everything like that. So, that's a basic part of a script. Now, let's say we wanted to do a local script. Same exact thing. Um, so, if we go to starter GUI, we can do that and do a local script. It's going to do the same thing. So, now, if I hit click run, it will also do hello world and... Um, Oh, well, not run, sorry, because we are on a server script. If I were to do play here, um, it's going to print that out, um, hello world. See how we do that right here. So you can tell green is for server, 
blue is for um, local. So now you're really probably like, okay, twin, what what does that mean? How does that work? Um, so that's kind of what I was talking about. So to know if you're wanting to see the outputs of client and server, that is what I'm talking about on here. You can see current client and then you can see current server. So like I said, this is the client right here. I am the client. I am the player. And then this is the whole server, everything going on. Now, hello world printed out to me, just the client. And then the subscribe button play is printed to the server. So basically, like I said, server is for everyone. So everyone's going to get that. Now, if I were to do this just for me, it would only print it for me, basically. But right now it's printing for everyone because that's just a simple print. But as you could tell, if I was just to do the run, it was just going to print to the server because we're just doing the server. We're not like a client right now. We're just a server. Um, so that's basically what I'm trying to talk about um, when it comes to clients, servers, everything like that. Some pretty simple stuff. Um, so, guys, we're going to hop in this in the next tutorial. But um, basic stuff like that. You can rename your scripts by going down here in the properties. You can go like... Uh, server script test you know and you can disable it if you don't want it to be enabled um, all that kind of jazz but in this next video we are going to be talking about um, variables and just the basic stuff I just wanted to explain that to you because because this is a great understanding of how um, scripts are used for Roblox and in every game I hope you did enjoy this tutorial if you did please feel free to subscribe comment like and share and I will see you guys in the next one